Oh. Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our last video lesson for the week. So this week so far we have looked at calendar time, we have looked at elapsed time when we're working it out in half an hours, and hours, and today we are going to start looking at the two types of time that you get. So we first look at analog, an analog clock would be like this, sorry this one's in Roman numerals, but anything that's got the minute hand and the hour hand like this is an analog clock. Then you've got a digital clock or digital time. Now, digital clock or digital time, what is that? Sorry, you're going to have a naked baby soon. Okay, this boys and girls would be a digital clock. Now, this digital clock, if I had a normal analog clock, it's fine because I would be able to, if I saw the time was three o'clock, I could look outside. If the sun was shining, I would know it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If the sun wasn't shining and it was night time, I would know it's 3 o'clock in the morning. So you, we use a lot of our sight to see if it's day or night. But if you were in a dark room with no light coming in and you just had an analog clock, you wouldn't know if the clock was saying it's 1 o'clock in the morning or it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that is where digital time comes in quite handy. Because digital time, we... Focus on, okay, I'm going to show you a little bit. It's easier to show then. Okay, so I start at, uh, your digital time starts at midnight and that starts at naught, 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 naught. Okay, so that would be midnight. Now I would carry on, my clock would carry on going one o'clock, two o'clock, these are all in the morning, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Now, I have got to 12 o'clock, so now I am at midday. So now, instead of starting like an analog clock, would go around till 12 o'clock, then around again to get to 12 o'clock again, digital just carries on going to 24. So if I carry on my digital time, you'll see here I'm getting to 13, 8, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then I'm going to hit 24, which goes back to naught, 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 because now I've gone to midnight. So if I was looking at, okay, so, so an analog clock works in 12 hourly, 12 hours to go around once digital, does the full 24 hours. But now, again, if digital clock didn't go 24 hours, if I just saw one o'clock and then a normal one o'clock again, I wouldn't know if it was day or night. So what they do is if that's on a digital clock, I mean an analog clock, five, six, seven, let me just rub out some of this clock here, um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that would maybe be one o'clock in the morning, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, whoopsie, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I get to midday and then I start again for one in the afternoon, two in the afternoon, three, four, five, six, seven at night, eight at night, nine, ten, eleven, and then I get to midnight. And I keep, analog just keeps going in twelves, twelve, twelve, twelve. But digital, now digital goes to twelve, but then he decides to be clever. And for the second round, he says 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So digital, there's 24 hours. So a nice way, you might get confused if you see 16 on a uh, OO, if I see this, like 16, 30 on a clock, I might think, sure, is that 6.30 or, or what time is it? An easy way, boys and girls, to work out the digital, especially from 13 to 24, is to just minus 12. So if I minus 12 from my 16, what do I get, Ems? Uh, 4. So it is, I know that 16.30 would be 4.30 in the afternoon. Because it's in the afternoon hours into evening hours. And Emily, if I've got, uh, let's change this one now to 2030. So I take my 20 
and I take away, what is 20 take away 12? Um, 12, 18. Huh? 20 take away 12? I mean, uh, um, eight? <laughs> eight. 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 So I know that it then is 20, 30 would be? 8, 30. Because I'm just taking 12 away and I know what my time would be. Normal numbers, if you say, if you can call it that. So I just keep converting. We are going to start looking at the, the we're using analog and digital time together, boys and girls. On the next slide, I have included a chart where you can start learning the conversion. So you'll start knowing that 13.00 is 1 p.m., 17.00 is 5 p.m., 19.00 is 7 p.m. And you just need to, it's something that you need to drill and you just need to learn. Like your tables, so that if I say to you, what is 22.00, oh, oh, you know it's 10 o'clock in the, in the evening. So we'll start looking, we're going to build on it every week. But for now, on the next slide, start looking at the conversions between the times. And on the slide after that, there's an activity where they have said, um, this is the analog time and what would be the digital. See how you go with it. Use the chart that I've given you to convert it. And we'll build on it every week. So this was just an introduction. If I haven't made sense, which I might not have, if I haven't made sense, boys and girls, there's lots of videos on YouTube that will go a lot slower and will explain in more detail. I can't make these videos too long. Otherwise, it will bore you. It will get boring, hey, baby. And it will also eat all your data. So I'm just keeping it short. And if you want to look at a more in-depth video, then you're welcome to look on YouTube. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye.